So yesterday we installed all this interlock and we also set the post for the fence. So right now I brought the lumber this morning and the guys are doing the fence section, right? Putting in the header. So far we've got the pad done, the retaining wall done. These steps are almost finished. We have to dig down for another pad here to uh, return uh, for the garden bed. Place caps in blue. So as we're wrapping up the back, we're moving to the front part of this project. So over here, we're going to be taking out the 6x6 six six, uh, retaining wall. As we already started taking out here, we're going to be replacing with the same stone as we used in the back for the retaining walls. The wall's going to go across here, L to that side, and this is all going to be excavated. We're going to be putting in the customer's existing stone that he previously had to create a driveway extension essentially here. So we're going to get the machine this afternoon, get this excavated, uh, drop the basin today and hopefully start laying stone today as well. In this project we had a few challenges. There's very limited backyard access, things are a little tight, plus there's these trees everywhere. There's trees that are going into the backyard. So the whole day there's bugs falling on you, leaves, etc. got clear out your hair. But other than that, the customer's been great. We've been getting coffees every morning, which we appreciate. Uh, another thing that we appreciate is that the customer gave me a list of corrections to make. Small corrections have to be fixed here and there. And some customers asked us to do them right away, but that breaks up our flow of work. But what this customer did is he understands that we'll do them the whole list as the last day of our project. That way we can touch up everything, go over it with the customer, and then everyone's happy at the end. Uh, so we're almost wrapped up on this project. Can't wait to show you guys the final result. It's been a fun one. Thanks.